Hey guys, I hope all is well with everyone. Welcome to Mystical 33. My name is Ray, and this one here, um, we are going to look into Lewis Tomlinson's 2024. Um, I woke up to a yes please, and I was like, what are we yes pleasing here? <laughs> Looked at it, and I'm like, okay, sounds good, let's do it. So, anyways... If you find yourself enjoying, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. I do have a baby playing in the background. I'm not sure if he's being picked up in the audio or not, so you know, that's what you'll hear. <laughs> um, anyways, just going to look into 24 in general. I've noticed whatever really shines in the person's 2024, whether it's career or love life, it seems to combine together. So, I just want to look at it overall. Lewis Tomlinson's 2024. Look, like they went all over the place. And they did. Goodness. Sorry, you get to see everything in the background there. It's a wreck. Looking all around for the book, and it's right there in front of me. Of course, right? Okay, so in reverse, I'm learning them in reverse, at least. So that's why I want to use the book. So anyways, number 13 here for reverse, it says, Clearly, clearly knowing what is best for you, refusing to praise or to give energy away, it is not warranted. Easily choosing between what is better for you and what would not serve you. Being more concerned with honesty and truth than with keeping everyone happy. So here with all must have prizes here, the 13th card, it's really like he's choosing himself here. He's getting rid of things that he knows that's no good for him and that really isn't serving him. So it's whatever, he's moving on to from things that no longer serve him. He's leaving just things in the past that and letting things go that's not going to help him at all 37th card are nature communication flower energies fairy energies and elemental messengers i usually take this as um like some all of a sudden gift maybe from the universe even like a sudden thought just someone being dropped on you even if it's in the mind thought process so See, it could be a epiphany here. You're being asked not to make assumptions, be open to possibilities that seem to be outside rational expectations. Attempt to communicate with beings from other realms, within na nature, spiritual planes, or even just humans. It is thought there is no chance of speaking to or being understood by. Be open and express the desire for communication be more lateral and less literal, but the ways communication can take place. Be a worth communicating, be a being worth, okay, communicating with, this will go far. It's like a, a travel energy here with that. It's like, having on some sort of epiphany while being somewhere else even having like a clear-cut communication here like understanding the message i wonder if we'll get the seven of swords with that because he's getting rid of something that he knows that, that doesn't help him in this year it's like all of a sudden energy Number 26 here, it's always tea time, eternity, endless moments, repetition. In the upright position, it represents a change in schedules, rep repetition, cycles, patterns, and loops, situations being repeated, repeated, why can't I talk today, being trapped by schedules that need to be changed, a wonderful time to challenge 
the other, sorry, the order in which things are done. Reworking traditions so they are more aligned with the way you see the world. So he's changing things up. He's not going in a traditional manner. It's almost like a rebellious situation there. There's something funky going on for him in 2024 that he's getting rid of. And it's something that's repetitive. We'll probably get a lot of eights when we pull tear it out. The first card here, all, all in the golden afternoon in reverse. It represents feeling dull, uninspired, mundane, believing you lack creativity, dissatisfaction with your work, and negative self-talk. Mm. there's definitely some type of toxic situation that's going on for him that he should let, leave behind. The The last card here, the third one, while the white rabbit, curiosity meets opportunity, that's usually where there's, there's something that, like a red flag sometimes, maybe even like a message. Here, I'll show you, just in case. If you have a deck or so, anyways, it says a wondrous opportunity is going to break through your ordinary reality and give you the chance to change your world and your perspective, sorry, your perception forever. So there is a change that's coming up for him to be able to get rid of this, or when he does get rid of it, there's something there to replace it already. It's just once he gets rid of whatever this is, this will come along. <laughs> Because it needs that room to replace it. Maybe he'll find a new management. Maybe he'll work for himself. I mean, he's been in the game since his childhood. Is that possible? Could he work for himself? I'm not sure how that part goes. Lewis Tomlinson's 2024. What could you tell us here? We are starting off with our world card and with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. So in the public eye, there is this Nine of Pentacles energy. It could be a closing out energy as well with that. Something valuable. It could be the net worth with whatever it is that's the repetitive cycle. It's like whatever, when I'm picking up from at least the Oracle cards, it seems as though whoever tells him where to go, management, it's like he's realizing that whatever they provide him isn't really healthy for him. Because there's something in the background that creates its negative thoughts. Lewis Tomlinson's 2024. Hmm. We have a feminine energy air sign here at the bottom of the deck. It could also represent a standoff energy too. What came out though is the Knight of Swords. There's some sort of information with the public eye going on here. See, here's that Seven of Swords. Some sort of close connection here is sneaky. This could be people. This could be a situation. If it's people, it's feminine energy, air sign, masculine energy, fire sign. So there's an air sign and a fire sign involved here, whether they're male or female. It just means that one is closer in his presence than the other. Or, if with the Queen of Swords, he might have air in his chart. <clears throat> so, anyways, if these are energies, and it could be standoff energy when it comes to making a solid plan, having a solid plan. Let's see what we have at the top here. He has a lot of. He has a lot of people around him. 
a lot of energies he's dealing with. It's here there's some sort of transitional project with a water sign here. This Queen of Cups could also represent uh, some sort of self-love, self-healing here. I want to keep shuffling and see what we get. Lewis Tomlinson's 2024. I'm kind of hearing this is going to be public information. This disappointment, this heartache. But he's also going to sit in solitude and think about it because it's something that's challenging for him. It's like a, a really big bump in the road for him with the crossroads. It, it's preventing him from moving forward, and it's almost like he's aware of that. Like it's something that needs to be dealt with. Yeah. Controlling a new beginning, a new chapter, balancing out the scales. Almost like I can see the one card in here that justice is not fair. The laws are not fair. Something like that. The rules are unfair. Anyways. Not bad. <laughs> Lewis Tomlinson's 2024. See, there's so many people around him. He has a, a lot in his inner circle right now. So it looks like he's disappointed in a primary water sign here. He's not too happy about it. But it's something that he's really focused on. We have the Hermit card. So it's definitely something he's thinking about how to change it how to move forward from it, how to break through that challenge, that battle. He's not receiving what he feels like he's worth. This water sign is creating a burden in this. Let's see what we have at the top here. There's like this, hmm. okay, this person is, this person, this king of cups got his desired filled, his wish filled, out of Lewis Tomlinson, basically, and it's almost like Lewis Tomlinson's trying to call it up to bring it to attention, say, speak his word, his mind about it, see where he can get with that. And if he can't go further with that, then go to plan B, which is a different route. What could you tell us about this Three of Swords here for Lewis Tomlinson? Three of Swords here for Lewis Tomlinson's 2024. I see him starting new. So, looking back at the Oracle cards, looking at the first tarot deck we used, this is what he's leaving behind. This, I'm hearing deceived him in some way. And that's why he's disappointed in this person. I see this Queen of Pentacles here, but looking further into the Three of Swords and with everything else here, it's almost like he's taking this opportunity here and running with it. I'm 
the actions that have happened between him and this King of Cups here. That's the battle. That's the conflict. This person is like the contract, the creative contract here. He's placed a lot of his energy in. Tell me more about this Three of Swords. It's almost like the time where he tried to regain his, his financial status or social status here. He is moving towards balancing this out. Justice card keeps coming up. So he is working it out in the beginning of the year. At least like he recognized it. And he's moving towards what he wants. He's breaking free from his fears and his nightmares of, of past financial connections. Like it's, it went, finally went past that adolescent age era, able to move forward to more of a mature part. But it looks like Lewis Tomlinson is the one that had matured in this situation, the main bit of his career management did not mature they stuck to doing what they were doing and when Lewis Tomlinson matured with it his mind had opened up because he had gained so much he's seen so much he's seen enough so now it's, it's being it's like the, the fog is being removed and he's able to see past it to see what his true issue is that's been bothering him and his his cycles whatever it is it's certainly been repetitive and a bit exhausting because he's been putting all this energy in. It's like boom, 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 boom. But where is my where is my worth coming from? You're not giving me my worth. Whatever that may be to Lewis Tomlinson. Whether that may be his own time. Or financially. Or doing what he wants to do. Feeling as though he's hooked to a ball and chain. But he is very quickly. Because this is, this is like... He's not taking it. He's not playing around. He's not messing around. He's ready to move forward from it. So by doing so, he is moving quickly forward. He is basically kind of like plotting and planning if he didn't already look further into. It's almost like he has a plan B already. I mean, he is sitting in hermit mode, but that hermit mode I see more of like contemplation. Like, should I stay or should I leave this behind? Is this, is this the energy that I need to leave behind? Or is this a connection that I need to hold on to? Which it looks like he's going to figure out for himself that he is go he is better off leaving it behind and moving forward from it, moving to somewhere else. It's stressful and it's sad. He has he's very depressed and disappointed in it. like he's, he's seeing actions, realize things happening. And by seeing that, putting pieces together, it creates conflict, confliction. He's just not happy. And he's recognizing that he's not happy with the management that he has going on here with his King of Cups. Any type of connection he's going on with King Cups. Which I want to say is management. Because he's putting a lot of effort into it. A lot of energy. A lot of work. Something's happening continuously for him here and with this person. And it's, it's a lot because it's overflowing his cup here. But he's ready to move from it. But the ability to move and change his path is quite the burden. So he would possibly have to go out for advice, maybe even just a burden of receiving something valuable for himself. Could be both. Could be looking for advice in this situation to figure out a better way to receive much better worth. Receiving that after putting everything into it, all of his heart, his energy, and just receiving a little bit, just a little bit of, it's like feeling a little degrading. So I do see him trying to make a change. 
already in the beginning of the year at least um, with his career here. He might have to take a step out and go into nature, maybe meditate. Think of the, the hermit mode. He's sitting in solitude, wherever it is that makes him feel relaxed. Thinking about the repetitive moments and figuring out, is this somebody that's selfish and greedy that I'm dealing with, or is it just my mind? Is it just me creating this illusion? So that's where I'm going to leave this off at, you guys. If you found yourself enjoying, please do me a favor. Hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, you guys. Off you to say. Bye-bye.